Hello, viewers. I'm SB, and welcome back to Control Alt Ego, where. Oh, gosh, we're doing something. Um, here's our bug. I do not remember what that. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm here. I'm caught up. I'm present. I kind of sort of remember what we were doing. Bugs are creepy. Okay. I'll just run into every single thing. Uh, so, we have 600 objectives. Uh, presumably some of which actually matter. Investigate engineering. Visit the site of Dr. Everyman's accident. Acquire network authorization for the tech lab. I mean... What, what I was thinking is we'll just go in here and we'll see what happens. And then after that, you know, after that, we'll be after that. Get out of way. Okay. Have we checked this? Yeah, we, okay. We got the fingerprint from this, right? This was not the... Hold on. Wasn't there a way under here that led to... Yes, it is. there is. It's that way. Right? This leads to the room beyond the... Um... No, it doesn't. We had a way past the door, didn't we? I mean, obviously I could just turn off the firewall, but I thought we had a sneaky way past the door. My memory is not... It's not the hottest, you know. And this just connects to that same... Yeah, this is that same pipe. Gosh, they need to turn down the lighting. Turn down the intensity of their lighting effects. Alright, well, I guess let's just turn off the firewall and... What I like about a sneaky plan is I'm less likely to get vaporized while doing it. Okay, mostly this was a way for me to look around. Oh, this is a place I've been already. This was a door that I couldn't open from the other side. I see. <laughs> okay. And this is the this is the the back stairs over here, right? So we investigated science, free bug zero from pod C. We do have the whole fingerprint for pod C now. But it doesn't matter because the thing doesn't work. Why do I want a free bug zero from pod C anyway? What is what is the what is the value of this? Can't shift that. It is right in front of the thing. Can I Nope, rocketing did nothing. Lab pub, I'm gonna move you over here. You are in kind of a dangerous spot. Yeah, that object is just not, it's not physics. It's not part of the physics engine. I really do dislike that as a, um, as like a really clumsy tool for, uh, can I, okay, I can revive the husk from here. Well, that makes this way easier. Requires bug zero key. Okay, well that I don't have. Huh, an iPad that I missed somehow. Writing to you to raise a critical health and safety concern. Uh, the concern is that under experimental conditions, we are able to reproduce reliably a state whereby faulting canisters become dangerously volatile. In this state, they're liable to implode with overwhelming severity, representing a significant peril to both material and post-matter entities alike. I hope you will take this constructive feedback with the seriousness it deserves. This, okay, this was nothing. Well, 
Requires bug zero key. I do not remember there being anything about David? a bug Did zero I key. I hid in the key to your bug where at I the accident it. site. Just that's okay. That's what was meant by the key to your bug. All right. Um, I hate being sideways. So we have to check out the accident site, which is in engineering, not in the. Is this? In, are we in engineering? Yeah, we totally are. Right? Do we know anything more about the site? Oh, well, first of all, I know there's a panel here that I haven't explored. Ah, what the fuck? Okay. Can't see for some reason. Oh, because it on. It unmade the dad at exactly the same moment. What is going on here? I guess if it blows up... If something blows up a dad, it... All of the stuff that was serialized in the dad just, like... Gets deserialized instantly? Okay, well now you've all been husked. I hope you're happy. Get out of the way, garbage. That was very disorienting. So, wait, was that just... That bug was not in here. Where did the bug that started that whole problem even come from? I don't actually know. Okay, well, they're super annoying when husked, but also I can't really do much about it. So, all right. Let's move away from them a little bit so that I can hear myself think. And then take a second here. The site of David's accident. Do we know anything about that? Technically, it's a slight efficiency gain to open this, right? I'm so nervous about touching one of the ether canisters, though. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. Okay, uh, let's check our log here. So this is, yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't be in here. This is just kind of like empty tutorials. Okay, uh, task. I can't investigate any point any closer. It's entirely possible that we were told... I guess we're in science, not engineering right now. Hold on, let me, let me go to the um, directory by the stairwell. Okay, engineering's floor minus two. I guess, okay, so we have to go down there for the moment. Down there we'll find the key for the bug, which will allow us to come back here and get the bug, which is a thing I want to do? Question mark? It's in my objective list, but I don't, I don't actually know why we want it. It doesn't seem to have anything. Yeah, all right.
Hi, Mrs. Bosswoman. The exec wants all access to Science Incorporate sealed off. I think he fears another parasite attack. I'm working through the access points. Uh, disable elevator, fence off front stairs, fence off back stairs in progress. I've locked the corporate back door until I can get back to this. Keysig is attached to this message. I need to check the air ducts. Don't think there's any access, but just in case. Keysig is attached to this message. Was it? Also, where does this go? Someplace very much in the dark. Okay, so this, this lets us up to corporate. I don't... I mean, maybe we should just check out corporate now? I do kind of want to see what the deal with this bug is, though. We've apparently put an awful lot of effort into getting this bug online. So this is fully out of order. But in theory, we can take we can take the front stairs, the stairs that we used to get here. Probably all the way down, right? We need to get back on the other side of the fence, but can't see shit. Why is it gonna be so dark? Why is it? Okay, because that's what it looks like when it's not dark, is the answer to that question. Okay. Can I just go all the way down? <clears throat> you know, it... It's like, uh, it's not entirely optimal for the loading areas to work this way. Okay, this is zero. Had we been down here? I don't think... I don't remember being down here. It does not mean we weren't. It's been a couple of days. <clears throat> Door's not open, though. That's a pretty pretty clear sign. Hmm. I mean, I probably just want to spawn a dad, right? I think that's the way we're going to handle this. Hold on, though. We don't have... We don't have anything around available to make the dad um, healthy. Which is a problem. We can print juice. But I didn't get the ability to print batteries. Do I have... Oh, I have worms, though. Yeah. Yeah seems like a useful thing to be able to do and then we might want to save up to be able to print pups just so we can print a thing that moves because i could definitely see that being useful and especially if you know pups can get through vents and stuff um all right so let me we're gonna we're gonna come over here we're gonna print a dad then we're gonna print some Juice for our dad. I know, I know. Didn't leave myself enough juice to print any batteries. Okay, hold on. Let me drink one of these at a slight loss of efficiency. All right, let's hope that's enough. so much juice that bug is around there though
There's just like a matey boy in the hall. Maybe I should have just, yeah, maybe. Okay. We're going to print a couple more batteries because I got to have, I got to have the HP necessary to, um, to survive this bot trying to disassemble me, which it is going to be doing. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, it ignored the dad and went straight for the uh went straight for bug 22. All right, I'm going to pop you because I need to use your eyes. Can't see past this. But I think we're pretty clear then. We look pretty clear. Alright. I am feeling much better, thank you. Get Okay. Definitely not what I was trying to do. There we go. Okay, now we are set up for this area. Is one of these cats operational? No, actually. All right, well, that's fine. Don't see anything hostile immediately. Oh, apparently, I'm picking up a bad bug over there that I can't see, though. What is that sound? There's definitely a worm, but there's also a ticking. Am I allowed to ego suck these things? Hmm. Okay, well, it would seem like the answer is no. We can open the shed door from in here. There's not a ton of stuff to leap to. Oh, here we go. An eye on the ceiling. So there's another matey boy. There's definitely a bunch of supplies up here. They've put a head and some boxes on some dad legs? Yeah, huh. Okay. The way into Shed Euclid, which, who knows? Oh, yeah, Pam. David, it's Pam. I did what you asked. One of the engineers helped me. Your bug is officially locked down and under observation up here in science. Yeah. So if you hadn't gone to science first. If you had done the easy thing like a normal person. Uh, okay, that dad is called Mr. Dud. There's a mom right there. But I don't seem to be able to, um, yeah, deactivate it, I guess. Alright, so three bugs, and that's it. We're probably going to want to be able to pop this door. But let me 
let me continue forward a bit first before we go making that determination. Maintenance staff only. Huh. Well, this seems useful. Where is that worm? Is it up on top of the... Ah, yep, there it is. Okay. I did narrowly manage to grab it, apparently. Let's gain ourselves a little bit of ego. Did I see... No, okay. I did not, in fact, see anything other than juice. So, this being the case... Uh, seems like no hostels. Got ourselves a printer and an unarmed bug trap that I'm just going to ignore. When I was working here, I would quite often pop down to engineering to exchange banter with the team. The conscious robot hardware is put together here. Not really my thing. I was always more on the software side. Pam and I used to call it the engineering department. <laughs> we used to laugh. Those were the days. Famous for its... Okay, I mean, that's kind of clever. That's sort of clever. Um, I guess we have access to a bunch of juice right now. May as well drain some where we can. So this is just the other end of that hatch. Why would you need... Huh... Uh, okay, there is a hole in the fence for a dog to get through there, which is obviously the intent. Uh, this shit's heavy, but we are strong. You know, psychically speaking. Yeah, there's like, there is plenty of juice around here. I really appreciate the pop turning around to display its uh, its sensor. It's kind of gross in a way, but it's also very helpful. Okay, so I'm going to have to... Alright, I'm going to have to deal with that self-loader. Uh, let's grab bug 22... And have Bug 22 go grab Dad. We're going to want to delete that crate as well, right? So. Can I hit the shot from here? Yeah. The, not the pup. I should have maybe not left it exactly there. That seems not ideal. Do I want that conveyor module? Um, it doesn't really matter. I see. We are going to need the conveyor module. Can I move it around while I'm... Yes. Not very well, but yes. Okay, so we need the dad to... bust up some of these crates. This is going to be pretty weird, actually. I guess, you know what? Screw the conveyor module. I could just have the dad print me on top of that a uh, barrel, probably. Oh. 
All right, what we actually want is this. The dad's not going to be able to do stuff through the fence, though, is it? I mean, I'm assuming. It seemed to be the case in the past. No. So... I can lower the, um... Yeah, I'm, I might. Okay, I can probably make this work. We're gonna have to print a little bit more juice for Dad. Or is there juice laying around somewhere that I could just move the Dad over to? There's this, but can I grab it through the fence? No. Ah, right, yeah. So we'll print a little bit more. I'm gonna pull you back to like. Here, try to flatten out the the view angle a little bit. So we should probably go like all the way back, and then All I need is to be able to hit the corner of that thing, and we could get this. But I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to. Let's get this out of the way. All right, put me the most in the corner. This is too much in the corner. Okay. Then we have to nudge this thing until the other one falls. I don't know if it's possible for me to take fall damage from this. Oh, that's not working at all, in fact. Hmm. Okay, I'm definitely like jostling is occurring. That said, yeah, I'm not super sanguine about our odds here. Okay, let's have the dad reprint the, um, uh, what do you call it? The conveyor module. Yeah, all right. It sucks that that's where that had to go, but it's fine. I can I can deal with that. Maybe. Actually, if a pup can't climb the incline, there we go. I was going to say it's not going to matter much where it is if I can't get up it, but Mhm. Mm <laughs> the bug can help a little bit with this probably. Yeah, not bad. Oh, the bug can... Yeah, I can shift stuff through the... Well, shit. That makes life way easier. I didn't think I'd be able to do that, given how finicky the fences are about allowing stuff through. There we go. Nope. Okay, do not jump on the conveyor module at any point under any circumstances. I have to say, I have been, like, extremely happy with our choice to, uh, to install the shift module. What am I looking at in here? So it sounds like the worms are in the this middle thing. Can I open this as a pop? Yes. Welcome, parasite. Because you know that's what you are, really. 
don't you? Oops, I double. Damn it. Double damn it. That's twice as damn it as usual. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that as a pup. I might have to come back here with a real body. Not that dogs aren't real. Just, you know. Listen, if the Illuminati asks, you didn't hear it from me. Nope, definitely not. Okay. We'll come back now that we know where it is. Was that your whole speech? Did you not have anything else to say? The whole place appears ominously deserted. It does. That's not how I it. it was always a veritable hive of meetings and coffee breaks in my day. You know, I have the strangest sensation that I'm not supposed to be here. Or perhaps more accurately, that I cannot possibly be here. Yeah, I'm certainly curious what uh, he thinks he means by here. Definitely feels like we should probably just let the bug in, huh? Hi, it's Pam. Would an engineer please come up to science? I found a really strange old bug, and I need some assistance with it. Ominous bad bug overseer. All right, yeah, let's see if we can... Uh, if we can let the other bug in. There's definitely a worm on the other side of this surface. But I guess that's a problem to be figured out from the other side of this surface. Okay, well, now that's open. We could have just opened that from this side. I, I don't think I needed to do all that. But it is it is open now. I can't figure out what else this pup would have been for, so. All right, well. Let's get my dad over here in the general direction of the danger. Is there any more juice laying around? All right, I think that'll do. Let's just barge right in. Really, I cannot... I cannot look at the other evil eye from here. That's annoying. I'm sorry if you're having trouble with the bad bugs. I can only suggest you try to see them before they see you. So listen, uh, have you worked out that I'm dead yet? Yes. He's not really clear on what the plot is himself, and yeah. 
Uh, there's a friendly oscilloscope in this little room that I don't know where... Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with this little room. Uh, I guess let's jump over here. What? Okay, so there are bug traps, and we could, in theory, use the bug traps to, you know, trap some bugs, I suppose. That one doesn't seem super mobile, though. Alright, there is a camera here that still needs to be dealt with. Maybe that was the problem, the uh, the sensors on the bottom, and we were looking at this camera from the top via the other camera, so. Don't turn around. Okay. Well, I did not mean to pull aggro quite so early there, but it's fine. Everything's fine. It worked out fine. There we go. Just a little, just a little bit of dad juice for you. Gross. I grossed myself out. Here, just slurp up all this dad juice. I'm calling from science. My name's Pam. I'd like to book an engineer, please. Can you call me back in shop? Oh. The Pam voice work is very bad. I do not care for it. Hmm. Well, all right. Got caught off guard there a little bit. It's fine. We're just going to go back to the old friendly matey boy and uh, get a tiny touch up. Why on earth would it default to a thing that was barely even visible to me instead of the ego sensor that was in the dead center of my screen? What I need to do, what it, what, what it would definitely be a good thing to do, uh, would be to develop the instinct of tapping the shield button when I get in a position like that. Huh. You are not egoable. You're just an adorable dancing sunflower. Oh, all right. Well. That's cool, I guess. Doesn't seem to have drawn the bad bugs immediately. opening these after what happened last time. <laughs> so how am I going to open this? Oh, I see. 
windows. Turn around, turn around, Dad. Okay, it definitely saw me. The dads have a very poor maximum turn speed, which actually makes this kind of stuff really scary. All right, so we saw it briefly there, but um, I guess it turned around and went home. Let's, uh, let's see about relocating the dad. First of all, we can do that. Secondly, I do appreciate the, the, the little caution code near the broken glass. That's fun. Secondly, I am going to need a little bit more of a push. No, I do not want to be in the pup. Okay. I don't see any other, any sign of any other bugs, at least any other ones that could be grabbed right now. Hmm. So, I believe... This is where that one bug is. Well, maybe not. Maybe this isn't the room I thought it was at all. This is the room I thought it was. Okay. <coughs> shit, 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 shit. Didn't have a plan, didn't have a plan. The good news is they're not very good at maneuvering. Uh, I wish I still had that bug trap. Speaking of traps. Am I going to be able to do this? Am I going to be able to use this thing as a weapon? Probably not, right? This is... I'm way too clumsy for the thing I am attempting here. Oh, shit. I did do some damage to one of them. And we could get the dad up here. Feels like a silly way to handle the problem. But I don't have any non-silly ways of handling the... Mm -hmm. Dear Dad, would you like to perhaps get with the plan? Here, a little bit. Mm. There we go. I think they're just running around in an evaluating frenzy. There is one more bug trap in that in the lower room that we could definitely just use to handle the second bug, but that first bug's got to get got to get dealt with somehow, and I guess this is how I've decided I'm going to do it. Okay, what would be ideal here would be to Rearm this thing, right? No. 
Okay, so now when we make a noise up here, that other one's going to run to the stairs and hopefully get bug trapped. Uh, this might not work because I might not be able to fit down through this gap. Aha! All this stuff over here is non-ethermatic, which makes this a nightmare. Okay, there we go. Now, only 6.4 juice. I think I technically have enough to print. Nope. I know. Okay, this is all just broken garbage. So I need to swing in here. We have opened the way and there is definitely juice in here. Uh, you know what, I'll just... Sorry, that's the wrong button. I'll just pop this one with actual ego. Turns out being a dad's thirsty work. Okay, don't leave it any cover. How am I going to get its attention? I would love to actually be in the dad when that happens, but I think we might not be able to pull that off. Not gonna be able to get the dad through the doorway? Probably not. It is right on the other side of this thing, right? Sure is. <clears throat> it's not really anything around here that I can... Yeah, not really anything around here I can make use of. All right. Did it really just not? It didn't. Okay. It just chose not to respond that time. Hey, asshole. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I rocket checked him. That definitely worked. Doesn't seem to have gotten this one's attention, though. You better come over here and fight me. Okay, what the hell? It was definitely right on top of that bug trap. Oh, I heard the beeping. Come on. It got close to the bug trap. It all it almost fired it. That would have been pretty cool. It would have been pretty neat to use a bug trap as a trap for a bug. All conscious entities. Uh, urgent. Events have taken a decisive turn for the worst. A pestiferous parasite has gained access to the ego net and may conduct itself here forthwith. You should imme immediately stop what you are doing, sink your ego dump, and head to the shuttle dock for immediate evacuation. They were, uh, they were somewhat worried about this. 
perhaps almost an appropriate amount. As you know, during my recent inspection of the engineering facility, my attention was drawn to the commemorative plaque installed at the site of Dr. Everyman's unfortunate accident. While Dr. Everyman is greatly missed, I feel strongly that this is not an appropriate use of valuable shed real estate, not to mention the health and safety ramifications. I would like the plaque removed forthwith. Okay, so the plaque is in this shed area. This area where the word shed appears on things constantly. Damn it, I really want the juice packet. It's very difficult to get my robot eyes to look at it. Okay, turn that back off. And a single tiny ego fragment. Cool. All employees are reminded it is mandatory, uh, a mandatory duty to synchronize your ego dump at least once a week in order to minimize the impact of thought loss following unanticipated matter cessation. That's right. If something terrible happens to you, we wouldn't want to lose your valuable, valuable data. Do you mind? It is my legal duty to remind all employees that while I actively encourage post-matter ego deployment, should you prefer instead the prospect of the nothingness of inexistence, you can opt out your ego dump from post-matter deployment. Petition your line manager for the relevant form. And that's not even real text, I don't think. What is that? Is that... Nope, it's just a statue. Okay. Not an interactable at all. Hmm. The new bug stock build is to include a basic thrust unit and a hard disassembler mod. I am not entirely devoid of a sense of humor, and as such I have appreciated several samples of your more imaginative recent output. However, I urge you to bear in mind that the primary purpose of the new bugs is covert surveillance and countermeasures. Well, I have to say, I feel like, you know, the setup that our bug has would make it a pretty great spy, so well done them. Hello, it's Tom from Science. What's going on down there? Why is no one responding? Received comms that there is some kind of ego-consuming entity running rampant through the God docking facility. We are investigating and will endeavor to keep you informed. In the meantime, allow me to quash rumors that the purported entity is in any way linked to our alleged former experiments here at CRS. No such experiments ever took place, and even if they had, they did they didn't. Clearly, we would never unleash such a dangerous thing without proper testing. Clearly. There is no way this could ever or has already happened. Be advised that assembled bugs are to be boxed and delivered to the lab on the third floor where an ego dump will be fitted by a qualified lab technician. This is not necessarily terribly interesting text. Okay, well, that's really not what I was expecting to happen. Just put this over here. Given recent exploits, for reasons of security, the new bugs are to be fitted with read-only ego sensors. Yeah, that seems pretty wise. Production of new bugs is to be ramped up post-haste. All other non-essential non manufacture is to cease immediately. Uh, hence the big, the huge wall of bug boxes. So where does this... Okay, we're, we're here. Right. 
Uh, good. Well, first things first, let's go get that worm that we know about. Alright, then let's have a little bit of a look around. Just making sure I'm not wandering into a, an angry bug here. Interesting that there is a vent. Arm expansion, pre-installed thrusters. I mean, this is basically just me, except I'm not read-only. Yo, Barbs, what's going on up in the tech lab? Both front and back doors are locked. I had to go to lobby security to get a temporary key. I doubt it'll still be working by the time you see this, but you never know. This might save you a trip to security. Okay, a temporary key to the doors? Probably, yeah. Would not, would not be functional. Nope, never mind. Our objective list tells us it's definitely functional. That is armed. I don't know that it's super valuable to... I mean, I guess we have a bunch of juice sitting right here. I may as well drain it. And then once it's drained, we may as well turn it off. That's just another one right there, just looking just looking right at me. Well, not looking right at me, but being very close to me in any case. I can't tell if it's on. Hmm. Okay, apparently I'm not allowed to control it. It has come to my attention that Dr. Everyman may have been disseminating misinformation in the period prior to his unfortunate accident. I'm not blaming anyone, least of all Dr. Everyman himself, whom we all miss tremendously. However, to get the record straight, no, we are not secretly developing a sans hardware free roaming ego bearing entity that can extract ego from other hosts. What an incredibly dangerous thing that would be. So, it's 3048 now. The, the messages that are related to what's going on at the moment have all been dated 3048. And it's just been a, it's been a couple of years since the whatever happened. Okay, we could go get that pup. And there's some chance it just connects to, like, in here. That is an active bug. Hi, it's Pat. Oh, we did, yeah, we what saw this one. Can I please get, I there we go. Old, uh, okay, uh... Where did I put my other pup? Is it still out here? Ah. I think we probably know approximately, but let's let's just go verify. We also could probably have just taken over this pup because this pup can probably reach the um, the button for the gate on that side and then, you know, whatever. We can definitely pull Dad down to deal with that bad bug. But let's check this out first. So yeah, this is this office with the uh with the big heavy crates. There we go. Okay, so more bad bugs. And we're just over here in control of a pup anyway. Is there a gate control button in one of these sheds? Hi. 
Uh, this one has a window that I can't actually access. This seems like a dirty trick if this thing's active. Boy, it just does not want to let me interact with that uh, that sensor at all. Well, you know what? There's two pops here. Okay, and apparently three bad bugs. Good to know, I suppose. So from here, we should be able to jump back to... Where the hell is the bug? Ah, yes, that's right. I had to run back out into the hall to find the pup. Get over here. All right. Actually, the dad being partially knocked over will help me get it through the gate here. I wonder, can the dad, um, can the dad press a button? Somehow, yes. Oh, that's the wrong bug. Serializing my own bug. May as well just, you know, just to be on the safe side. Oh, good. Batteries. As though they knew. As though they knew what I was going to do to myself. They all love that one picture of a cat. Uh, several of you have been asking about the tragic incident involving our esteemed former colleague, Dr. Everyman. It's a good thing every email in this system is only about one of two subjects, both of which are directly relevant to me. Please understand that I am not able to disclose further information while the investigation is ongoing. However, be assured that Dr. Everyman's post-matter ego dump is maximally deployed, and were he alive today, I feel certain he would be proud of his ongoing achievements. I would like to repeat the assurances made earlier this month that CRS is strictly not undertaking secret research to develop a so-called parasite host. Even if we were, we're not. Any experiments conducted to that end, there weren't any, would have been published in the spirit of full openness and transparency. They do love to... I, like, I wonder if the expectation on the developer's part is that any given player will only see, like, a quarter of the computers or something... Because they really do love to repeat themselves a ton, and it makes more sense. You know, you get like four or five slight variations on the same message, and it definitely makes more sense to me if they're figuring you're only going to see one of those four computers. Okay, how do we actually get the gate open? I know how to get under... Also, I don't actually know, like, am I able to break the glass, or is any glass that's going to be broken already broken? Because, like, we might be able to find a, a, what do you call it, an ether tank to hurl at this stuff. Actually, let's let's look down here. We haven't really investigated this at all.
Oh, damn it. I detonated that one before I could get it to the to the target. Oh, this is the door near the matey boy. Unfortunately, that matey boy is pretty much on empty at this point. Oh, we're probably going to have to take over this new one. Which I guess I may as well just go ahead and do. We are going to continue needing the reinforcement. Hmm. Twelve ego, huh? I know exactly what my plan is. I'm sure none of the rest of you saw this coming. Minor repair. Okay, low juice warning is the thing we do actually have to correct. Siphon that right up your quote unquote proboscis. Pro proboscis? I actually don't know how that word's pronounced. There are a lot of words that, you know, I have seen read that I haven't really, or seen, I've read, I have seen them, but I have not really heard people pronounce them. Uh, and then, you know, I say one of them out loud and I embarrass myself. Okay, now that we've done all this stuff. Let's go back and get this larger container here. There is so, so, so much exploration to be done here. We're getting through it so slowly. Okay, interesting. I mean, shit is dangerous. There's no two ways about that. Oh, hey, hi. Alright, these matey boys do excellent work. I am hearing combat sounds. Yep, okay, that's bad. Ugh. Everything is exploding. We're just going to jump over to a printer real quick. Okay, we're going to have to approach this whole situation over again a little bit. The good news is everything that got popped out of that dad um, is at extremely low structure, so we will be able to re-serialize it in a hurry. But also... Man, what an annoying thing. What an annoying way for that to work. All right. Let's, real quick, as soon as it will let me, pop over to this lifesaver. I guess it's a good thing I didn't actually open this door. Okay. Well, that was semi-productive and then, you know, pretty unproductive pretty quickly right there at the end. It's fine. We're going to fix it. Uh, that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time tomorrow, like I just said, we're, just, we're going to fix it. We're just going to fix it real fast. And then back to the meaningful exploration and everything. And we'll see you then.